Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on configuring histogram bins in Microsoft Excel. I have loaded in this worksheet two variables. I have an independent variable labeled group and a continuous variable labeled score. In the group variable, I have three levels of this independent variable. Control, the control group, cognitive behavioral therapy group, and a psychodynamic therapy group. And there are 15 observations in each group. So the groups are of equal size. And the observations are recorded in this score variable. And let's assume these observations come from an anxiety instrument, an instrument designed to record anxiety levels. And a lower score indicates less anxiety, and a higher score indicates more anxiety. With data configured in this manner, there are a number of analyses we may want to perform, and one of them could be a histogram, otherwise known as a frequency distribution. To insert a histogram into Excel, I'm going to select from B46 all the way through A1. So both labels and all the values in the variables. Go up to insert, and then insert statistic chart, and then histogram. I'm going to change the color, the background color, to black to make it more visible. And I'm going to resize the chart. I'm also going to change the default color for the columns or bins and change it to orange. I'll remove the chart title by selecting it and pressing delete to make more room. So as you can see here that based on our data, Excel generated five columns or bins and it uses an equation called Scott's normal reference rule. So using that rule in this case the bin width is 4.5. So you can see for example in this fifth bin all the way to the right it records from 56 through 60.5 and the difference between those two values is 4.5 that is the bin width. By default, all of the bin widths will be identical. So they're all 4.5, all five of them. Depending on what we want to display in this histogram, this default setting may be satisfactory. However, we can manage the bin characteristics. If I select the horizontal axis, the X axis, and double click it, I'll get a dialog to the right named Format Axis. And you can see under that we have access options and bins. And by default, this is set to automatic. And here we can change the bin width, the number of bins, and we can also set an overflow bin and an underflow bin. Before I get to those features, I'm just going to select the by category just to show you how Excel divides up the bins with the selected. You see here the control, CBT, and psychodynamic therapy groups are all displayed in separate bins using this feature so you can compare the levels of the independent variable. So moving back to automatic returns us back in this case to five bins. If we wanted the bin width to be specified to a value other than the default which is 4.5 in this case, say we wanted 4 I would just select that in the text box, enter 4, and Excel changes the bin width to 4. And again, each bin is equal. We can also specify the number of bins. So instead of the 5 we have here, I'm going to specify 10. And you can see 10 bins have been created. If I move back up to bin width, you can see the bin width for 10 bins is 1.9. In some instances you may want an overflow bin and or an underflow bin. With an overflow bin we specify a value and to the right of the histogram Excel will create a bin that contains every value greater than the value that we specify. So in this case let's use 52. So you can see greater than 52, we have this one bin all the way to the right. An underflow bin is similar, 
except rather than greater than, for example, the score 52, it will create a new bin that has the scores that are less than or equal to the specified number. So if I click underflow bin here and I insert the value of 42, you can see it creates a bin all the way to the left and it's less than or equal to 42. And of course by creating an overflow and underflow bin we have changed the bin width. I move back up to bin width you can see it's now 1.25. So we still have 10 bins but the width has changed to 1.25 because of the usage of the overflow bin and underflow bin features. I hope you found this video on managing histogram bins in Excel to be useful. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me. I'll be happy to assist you.